Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you. So today we are back with the another very interesting interview question for medium level of interview you can say. So in this table we have a company ID, user ID and the language. So the question is we have to find at least two users in a company, in a particular company, two users who speaks both English and the German. So you can see the company ID is here. Uh, the company ID is 1 and the user ID is 1 who speaks German and the user ID is 1 who speaks English as well. Okay, So this user speaks both the languages which is English and German. Again, company ID 1, the user ID is 2, the different user who speaks only German and the company ID is 1, who the user ID is 3, who speaks English and the German. Okay, So in the company ID 1, two users we have who speaks English and German okay because the fourth one is also known uh, uh, English but not German okay and the company ID 2 uh, the user ID is 5 who speaks German and the uh, same user speaks English as well the company ID is same okay 2 and the user ID is 6 in the same company 2 who speaks Spanish and English okay not in not German okay the user ID is 7 uh, in the company ID 2 who speak only English language okay so now in the data who speaks German English okay so we have three users basically so we want two users or more than that who speak both English and German not Spanish okay first we will find the count of the users okay how do we find the count of the user because you can see this is the count this is the repetitions we have okay the user one speak German the user one and English okay so if we if we use if we take the count of this person so we will have the two so that means this person speaks two languages okay and this person count is one so that means this person know only one language so if user have multiple counts so that means he knows the multiple languages okay so how do we find the count so we will use the count function aggregate function count okay you apply on a user ID column okay because we have to find the user ID count how many times a particular user ID is repeating okay so we'll use the group by group by user ID so the user ID is one known two languages the user ID is two known only one language user ID three no two language four one language okay so let me rename this column count languages okay the next question is the person who speak English and German okay so we will filter here okay we don't want a person who speak Spanish okay so we are language not equals to Spanish all right let me run this query okay now we have seven rows okay so how many language we have English and German so that means language is two two language okay so now we are again having a filter on aggregate values having count equals to two So these are the user IDs who speaks two languages okay user ID is one three and five okay so we have the partial data now we want details from which company they belongs to okay now we will create a CT here select from CTE okay now to get to get the company details we gonna join the user id value user id column with the original table which is the company user table okay so this user id column will be connect with this company user id company user id column okay company user is b where a dot user id equals to b dot user id okay now let me select the columns a dot b dot company id b dot language okay so let me remove this column we don't want this count of language 
so all right guys so user id 1 speaks german user id 1 speaks english the company id is 1 same the company id is 1 the user id is 3 who speak english the user id is 3 who speak german same the user id is 5 who belongs to the company id 2 speak german and the user id is 5 again company id 2 to who speaks german okay so let me verify the data uh, with the original table sorry so this is our output and this is the input table so the company id 1 user id 1 speak german and english yes company id is 1 the user id is 3 3 english german english german and the company id is 2 and the user id is 5 5 speak german english and german english okay so that's how we got this output it's a very simple and easy query all right guys so hope you have learned something and if you have any questions you can put in the comments all right thank you for so much for your time